Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's continue with the last topic in chapter 6, which is 6.4, gene regulation and lag operon. Okay, so here is the learning outcome. Okay, hopefully at the end of this video, you are able to explain the concept of operon and gene regulation. Describe the component of the operon and its function in E. coli. Describe the mechanism of the operon in epson and presence of lactose. So let's start. Okay. Actually, the lactose operon is the finding from the ex experiment by Jacob and Monod. In their experiment, they use E. coli, which can be found in human intestine. They found that when the E. coli is cultured in the medium without lactose, the E. coli will not produce the enzyme to hydrolyze lactose. But then, if the E. coli is cultured in the medium with lactose, the E. coli will produce enzyme to hydrolyze the lactose, and the enzyme is beta galactosidase. So, how this happen when the bacteria is cultured in the medium without lactose? No beta galactosidase is produced. But then, if the E. coli is cultured in the medium with lactose, beta galactosidase is present. So, we said that this is referred to gene expression. Okay? The presence of lactose will stimulate the synthesis of hydrolysis enzyme. Okay? Hydrolysis enzyme here is the beta galactosidase. Means, only certain genes are expressed in any given cell depend on the needs of the body. So it means that the enzyme only will produce if the body need it. So that is the concept of gene regulation in gene expression. The gene will be the gene coded for the enzyme will be activated when the body need it. So what is operon system? Operon system is a cluster of structural genes. They are expressed as a group associated with promoter and operator. So, for operon system, it has four important components, which is regulator, operator, structural gene, and promoter. Okay? All these four you need to remember. Let's take a look the structure of the operon system. Okay, so in our previous slide, yeah, I told you we need to remember four components. The first is regulator. Okay, here is regulator gene. Second is the promoter. The third one is operator, and the fourth one is structural gene. So remember all these four: regulator gene, promoter, operator, and structural gene. So as you can see here, the structural gene, this is actually, all this is, you can see, this is a double strand of DNA. So in DNA, as you know, it will provide the genetic information for transcription to produce mRNA. So when the structural gene is being transcribed, it may produce single mRNA. Later on, the mRNA will be used to produce polypeptide. So as you can see here, for structural gene number one, it will code for polypeptide one. Structural gene code number two, it will code for polypeptide number two. Same goes to number three and number four. So here is the E. coli. As we know, E. coli is prokaryote. So the DNA relies freely in the cytoplasm. And then for the E. coli, the DNA is in scalar shape, we call it S plus mid. So here is the DNA, double helix, so we take it out. So here is the double strand of E. coli DNA. Here is the upper on system, which consists of regulated gene, or known as lag I. This regulated gene or lag I 
code for repressor protein. Okay, what is mean by code for repressor protein? When this leg eye is being transcribed, it may produce mRNA, and then after the mRNA is being translated, it will produce repressor protein. So that's why we call regular gene code for repressor protein. Then we have the promoter operator and then the structural gene so for structural gene we have the leg zac this leg zac will code for enzyme beta galactosidase so the next is leg y this leg y gene will code for enzyme permis and leg a will code for enzyme transacetylase so this is the closure loop okay for the operon system in E. coli. The regulated gene, as I said, also known as leg I, it will code for repressor protein. And this repressor protein can make the operon system switch off when it binds to operator. Okay. As you can see here, the repressor protein has a binding site for allolactose, which is the isomer of lactose. Next year, we call a promoter. This promoter will provide a binding site for RNA polymerase. So recall back in transcription, okay, we use enzyme RNA polymerase. The enzyme used to transcribe information in DNA to form mRNA. So the promoter is the binding site to initiate the transcription process. So the RNA polymerase will bind to the promoter. Second is the operator. As you can see here, operator provide binding site for repressor protein. Okay, so when the repressor protein bind to operator, it will switch off the operon system because it will block the RNA polymerase from transcribe the structural gene. Next year, we have three structural gene, leg Z, leg Y, leg A. So leg Z, will code for beta galactosidase, like Y code for premise, and like A code for transacetylase. Hopefully, you can remember the function for every component. I repeat, regulated gene, which is like I, code for repressor protein. Okay, then the repressor protein, the function is to switch off the operon system by binding to the operator. Next, we have promoter. Promoter serve a binding site for RNA, RNA polymerase. Okay, so when RNA polymerase bind to the promoter, it can start to transcribe the structural gene. Operator will serve a binding site for repressor protein. Then structural gene, we have three gene here, like Z, code for enzyme beta galactosidase, like Y, code for enzyme premise, and like A, code for enzyme transacetylase. Okay, again, this is the structure of like a prawn. First, we have like I, that is also known as regulated gene, will code for represent protein, and then we have the promoter, it will provide a binding site for RNA polymerase, then we have operator, will provide a binding site for represent protein, and then the structural gene, which has like Z, which code for enzyme beta galactosidase and the function of beta galactosidase is to hydrolyze lactose into glucose and galactose. Next, we have leg Y. The enzyme is premise and the function of premise is to transport lactose into the cell. And the third gene, in structural gene, is leg A. It will code for enzyme transacetylase. The function of transacetylase is to transfer an acetyl group from acetyl coenzyme A to beta galactosidase. Okay, so hopefully you can remember this. Beta galactosidase, the function is to hydrolyze lactose. Premise, transport lactose into the cell. Transacetylase, transfer an acetyl group from acetyl CoA to beta galactosidase. Okay. If you clear about the structure and the function of the operon component, okay, let's proceed to the mechanism of the operon in the absence and presence of lactose. So the first case is when the E. coli is cultured in the media without lactose. So I mean in absence of lactose. So this situation, lack like operon is switched off. 
this is the mechanism okay regulator gene will code for enzyme repressor protein will code for repressor protein and then the repressor protein will bind to operator so the repressor protein bind to operator the binding of repressor protein to operator will block the attachment of RNA polymerase to the promoter. Okay, you can see here, when repressor protein binds to operator, it will block the RNA polymerase from binding to promoter. So, to start the transcription, RNA polymerase must bind to promoter. But now, RNA polymerase cannot bind to promoter so that the structural gene cannot be transcribed. So, when the structural gene cannot be transcribed, no mRNA mRNA produce so no enzyme will produce okay the leg Z leg Y leg A is not been transcribed so beta galactosidase premise and transacetylase is not synthesized so this situation we call as leg operon switch of Y because lactose is absent Second situation is in presence of lactose. So when the E. coli is cultured in medium containing lactose, the lag operon called to be switched on. Okay, how? The lag I or the regulated gene will code for repressor protein. So the repressor protein bind to the operator. But in presence of lactose, the lactose will convert to its isomer called a low lactose. So look at the structure of repressor protein. It will serve a binding site for a low lactose. So allo lactose bind to the repressor protein. When allo lactose bind to repressor protein, it will cause the repressor protein change in conformation. So, repressor protein change conformation and detach from operator. So, RNA polymerase, now it can bind to the promoter and start to transcribe the structural gene which is leg Z, leg Y, leg E. So, the product of the transcription is MR and E represented by this being strand. And then the mRNA undergo process translation so produce the three enzyme like Z code for beta galactosidase which the function is to hydrolyze lactose like Y enzyme premise the function is to transport lactose into the cell and then transacetylase okay here again when the situation the lactose is absent so, regulator gene will code for repressor protein. Then, the repressor protein will bind to the operator. So, the binding of repressor protein to the operator block RNA polymerase from bind to the promoter. RNA polymerase cannot transcribe the structural gene. So, no mRNA produced. And all the three enzymes, which is galat beta galactosidase, premise, and transit acetylase, is not synthesized. But when the lactose is present, okay, by this time, the repressor protein is bind to the operator. When the lactose is present, the lactose will be converted to the allo lactose. And low lactose bind to the repressor protein. The binding of allo lactose to the repressor protein will cause the conformation and shape of repressor protein to be changed. So repressor protein detached from operator. So this will allow RNA polymerase to bind to the promoter. RNA polymerase start the transcription and transcribe lactose. Like leg Y, leg E, which is the structural gene. The product of transcription is mRNA. Then the mRNA will undergo translation producing beta galactosidase, remiss, and transacetylase.
So this is the two um, hot question that are uh, frequent to be asked. The okay, first question is, what happen when individual drink milk containing glucose? So the answer is, if lactose and glucose are present, the cell will use all the glucose before the lac operon switch off. Glucose is used as main energy source. No lactose up. Next, what is the advantage of having just one promoter for all structural gene? One promoter for all structural gene. So, as we know, structural gene, we have three. So, the advantage is only one mRNA produced and all the three enzymes synthesize or repress simultaneously. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.